Hi guys, it's Tiffany Wish Watch Trying to Give a Reason. I'm here to do a cooking video for you guys. I don't know how much you guys are gonna see. We just here to talk and hang out. Okay, because I'm trying to cook and something to eat. So hopefully you guys are doing good. My name is Tiffany. I work for a major airline that I love. I love sharing my world with you. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a video. And also, don't forget to tell your friends about this channel, share this channel. I want to say hi to my old subscribers and hey to my new ones. How y'all doing today? Um, your girl here just cooking and we're going to talk and we're going to get to know one another. You know what I'm saying? This may seem like a lot of seasoning, but y'all, this might be good. Okay, 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 okay. I'll go to the store. And this generation be irking my soul sometimes. I'm telling you, this generation be irking my soul. Just irking my soul. Okay. So I'm at the store. I pull up and I see this lady, older lady, looking like she's looking for her car. And she had bags in my hand. And at first, I was going to ask her, did she need any help? But she looked as if, like, I heard her say, oh, and I thought she found it. So I just went in the store. And I only went in the store for, like, two things. Okay. So I was like, okay. You know, I heard her say, oh, so, you know, mind your business, Tiffy, you know. So I go. And I go in the store and get my two things. Now, mind you, it's busy. It's the weekend. It's busy. Everybody out. So it's busy, right? Everybody out, right? So, you know what? About, you know what, y'all? I'm not irritated. I'm doing stupid stuff. Why don't you just season it, Tiffany, and then put it over there? Yeah, that makes sense. So anyway, so I go in the store. I come out. Because I had already said, if this lady is out here looking for her car, I'm going to help her. But when I heard her say, oh, I thought maybe she had found it. So I was like, okay, well, let me go in the store, get my little two things, and we'll come home because I ain't got time to be in the store. I come out, this lady still, now I don't realize she's looking for a car because she's walking around, she got bags in her hand. Let me tell you what pissed me off the most. Men, women, the, the young kids, you know, the young generation who's out picking up the buggies, you know, that this is their job for the summer or after school. Looking at this lady, this lady look like she's looking for her older lady, okay? She's not young, older lady, okay? And she's looking for her car. It's obvious now. Like, when I came out of the store, I'm like, oh, man, like, let me help her, okay? So, I don't have heavy bags in my hand. I just got two little items. So, I come out, I said, and she's over by my car. And you can see, she's up there like this. She got stuff in her hand. She's sweating, and it's heavy. And I was like, I said, ma'am, are you looking for your car? Now, mind you, it's young kids walking by getting the buggies, looking at this lady. Okay? Oh my God, generation make me. Ooh! So, I'm like, ma'am, are you looking for your car? She's like, yes. I said, I said, could you tell me what it looks like? I will help you, ma'am. I said, you stand here. Put those bags down. I said, get your arm a rest. I said, because I didn't know if you were looking for your car when I went in the store. I would have been help you. I said, but I didn't know. And she was like, I thought I found it, but it wasn't it. That's why she said, oh, because she thought it was her car, but it wasn't. So I said, well, tell me what the car looks like, and I'll walk around this parking lot and look, look for you. So she's telling me, like, the license plate, the color of it, and all this. I said, is there anything else specific? Because she kind of had, like, a generalized car. And so she was like, it has, like, a, she said, for me to remember, it has, like, a red bowl in the windshield. I said, okay, you stay right here. Don't move. I will come get you. I say. And if I find your car, I will come get you and I will help you to your car. She said, thank you so much, thank you so much. Because you could tell she's about to cry because she's getting frustrated. And these young kids walking by this lady, these men walking by this lady, these other women walking by this lady. And she looked like she looked for her car. It took me 10, maybe 10, 15 minutes to find her car. Because this is a big parking lot. I found a car. So I was like, ma'am, I found your car. She's like, oh my God. So she's about to cry. And I'm like, it's okay. And I go over there and I said, I'm coming to get you. Stay where you are. So I went over to her, I helped her with her bags, and I walked her to her car. And she said, that's it, that's it, oh my God, thank you so much. She said, I'm so happy. I said, well, I'm glad that you actually had the red bow in your windshield because that helped me. So, because um, her car was pretty popular. 
So she was like, thank you so much. She said, God, I'm going to bless you. She said, God, I'm going to bless you. She said, thank you so much. Thank you. So I said, you're welcome, ma'am. I said, did you need me to help you? So I'm help her. These young kids just looking at me. I need, I listen, parents, parents, come on now. Come on now, y'all can't be friends with these kids. Like, you got to teach them something. And then you get in the, I don't understand. You don't teach your kids to have respect and love and moderation and some type of moral code for people. You know what I'm saying? You need to have that type of moral code for people. When you can look at somebody and say, you don't have to save the world because some people lose their lives. But come on now, let me look for a call, okay? So you gotta have, you gotta raise your kids with instill that those values into your kids. Because you wanna instill those values into your kids, but you wanna cut somebody out when you don't get that in the street, at the store, at a restaurant, or on a plane, whatever. You wanna go off like you've been done so wrong, but your kids ain't even exhibiting no same day. How how is that? How is that? How are you cussing us out or going off on waiters and waitresses and all these staff members because you feel like they're not treating you how you want to be treated, but you're not raising your kids how to treat people how they need to be treated. I'm going to tell you a pet peeve of mine. Do you know how many parents get on the plane? Say, what are you doing? This be hurting my soul. You going to, you get on the, wrong one. You get on the PA. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to begin our in-flight service. If you have, you know, there are many located in your seatbelt pocket with selection of prices. You know, I tell people sometimes, depending on how long the flight, you know, have your payment ready and your credit card down. I mean, have your credit card ready and your tray, uh, tray table down. And have your selection ready. Because you're just not, you're not on a private plane. You're serving everybody. Okay. So, this is a pet peeve of mine. You walk through, you get to a mother. Hi, how are you? Good. What would you, would you like a beverage? Um, 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 I think I'm gonna have a red wine. I think I need one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Did you want anything for the babies? She wants the apple juice. Could I please have a lid? You know, they're young. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Parent. That's parent. So then, that's number one. I go to another store. Because, you know, I'm, I'm running around giving little errands because it's busy today, right? First of all, I got the wrong paper towel. I don't know what's going on. So I go to the other store, right? Go to the other store. Mind my business. I need a bag, a buggy, because I'm going to get two things that can fit in my hand, okay? So I'm standing there looking on the shelf. You know, I got the things in my hand. So it's a buggy here, and I thought it was somebody else's buggy. So I just walked around it and stood in, like, beside it, and I'm standing like this. Like, you want me to turn this way so you guys see? So I'm standing like this. So whoever comes behind me, aside, beside me, they see that I have stuff in my hand. The buggy's here. I walked around the buggy. I'm looking on the shelf, and I'm holding stuff in my hand. In my hand, you know, here, not on my head, okay. You know, not, not on my back, in my hand. This guy, older guy, older, older, older guy, comes. Oh, I hear somebody, uh, cause I'm looking on the shelf. I hear somebody say, Oh, God, I wish she, she just needs to make. 
So I was looking around like, you can't be talking to me because I got stuff in my hand. Like you can see from a mile away, I got stuff in my hand. So they can't be talking to me. So let me keep looking on the shelf because he can't be talking to me. Like, people crazy, child. He ain't talking to me, girl. Mind your business, girl. Mind your business. You don't know, save me, girl. Do what you got to do, girl. Don't worry about them folks, girl. Don't let that deal with you, girl. So I'm going to look at all the things. You know, look at all the stuff. All I know is I'm standing there in the buggy. He pushes the buggy out of the way and it buggy hits me and I go like this. Ooh. Bruh. I turned around and said, what? I had to catch him. I caught myself because he's older. And I'm looking at him like you think common sense because now you're being petty and it's take it's taking all i have not to go off on this man okay because it take a lot to push me but that right there was too much because you pushed me into the you know the 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 shelf trying to move the buggy and the buggy hitting me and i'm hitting the shelf and i got stuff in my hand i could have dropped okay if it weren't for the shelf and the stuff sliding on the shelf i, I mean come on bro like well what, what, what you could say excuse me so the look I gave, the look I gave him, that's when I was like, and I'm looking at the stuff and I'm looking at him, and I'm looking at the stuff in my hand and I'm looking at him, because I'm trying to figure out, you not understanding that if I got this in my hand, this ain't my buggy. Why would I walk around and stand next to a buggy and hold stuff in my hand? Why? Think. So then... He was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh Jesus, I was like, it was like I had to talk to myself like, Tiffany, don't do it, Tiffany, don't do it, Miss Silly, don't do it, don't do it, Miss Silly, don't do it, Miss Silly, listen, <laughs> I, just, I just finished what I was doing, I said, Tim, get out of the stove, you don't even need, whatever's on this shelf is not here, get, just keep pushing, so then I go to the other aisle, to get the other thing to see if there was on the other eye because i'm like maybe i'm on the wrong eye he on the aisle looking at me and he see oh that wasn't her buggy because now you see not me and him on the same aisle he's with his wife and he see i still got stuff in my hand and i don't got my buggy so you think he said um he said did i hit you with you would think somebody would like did i hit you with that buggy? i'm so so sorry i thought that was your buggy. i didn't mean i was just trying to get by i'm sorry i thought it he looked at me like, oh, you on this aisle too? My brother, I'm sorry, called me and tell me that my nephew been trying to call me because him and his uh, girlfriend, which is not his baby mama, broke up. So let me tell you something, okay? So basically, my brother, son, my nephew, got in some trouble when he was younger. I mean, not younger, but you know, early in age in his early twenties, and he ended up um, having to do time. So when he came home, I was like, you know, don't rush into no relationship. Take your time. Do not rush into a relationship. Okay, take your time because you need not to rush to a relationship because you've given the system a lot of your time. Get to know the world again. Get to know what's out there in the world and build yourself up. And then if you want, I mean, you can date around, but don't jump to something serious. You just got home, okay? So that's what I'm telling you, right? Now mind you, for some reason, People seem to think when you're single, you don't know what you're talking about. I think that's what it is. Cause when I tell people stuff, they feel like you ain't got no man. What can you tell me? Okay. And then I watch them go through hell, and then 
Now I see why you single. <laughs> I mean, I just thought I was single because I, I ain't got nobody. Because I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to talk to folks. I guess I'm single because I look like a crib keeper. So, I'm sitting around and I'm telling them like, don't do it. You know, don't, don't, don't rush to this. What he do? He rushes into the relationship. Not only did he rush to the relationship, she lives in Alabama and he lives in, uh, in uh, Gainesville. And I tell him, I said, hey, I said, listen. I said, this is what you need to do. He was like, oh, she want me to move down there with her. Now mind you, she got three kids, okay? So he was like, she want me to move down there with her. And I was like, I, I understand that, but my advice to you is, wait, don't rush. You just got home, you know, just take the time out to figure things out. You know, don't just rush into something, you know, figure things out, right? So he was like, okay, did he do that? Nope, because he called me later, oh, she want to move to Alabama. What did he do? He moved to Alabama. Now mind you, before he moved, I said, don't rush, get to know her as a person. You just got home. You had your freedom taken from you for a little bit. You need to see what's out here in the world. You need to build yourself up first. She should be able to be understanding about that and wait till you get yourself on your feet. Get you a job, get your life back. Don't get her pregnant and don't move down there because you don't live around the corner. So if y'all get in a fight, you're on her territory because you're with her family. So if anything happened, they could do anything to you down there because you're there by yourself in a whole nother state. He listen to me. <laughs> no, girl, he don't listen to me because I'm a nobody. <laughs> no, he don't listen to me because he moves. Auntie, get where I'm at. Oh, wow, where you at? You been at work or something? No, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm here in Alabama with my girlfriend. Okay. I'm not gonna get mad. I said, okay, well, you know, maybe she's a good person. Maybe, okay. Now mind you, she got three young kids. Okay? Three young kids. And um I need to wash my hands, I'll put a little bit more season. Um, she has three young kids, okay? And the three young kids that she has, um, their father, she has all three different baby daddies, and their father isn't in their life. Not hating on that. That's 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 the you know that's normal. I'm not hating on that. That's any race, okay? Let's not let's not play the game. So that's not the problem. The problem is you need to find out why these kids' father isn't in their life because that's a lot of. It's like everybody she get with she gets pregnant. So definitely don't get her pregnant and find out what's really going on because sometimes you know it may be the man, but then you find out it might be her. So let's find out what that is. So he goes down there and he has this mindset like my brother. My brother's the same person like, I'm a man, I gotta take care of things as a man. That's how my mama raised us, you know. And my mama tried to, tried to instill that into my brother them, you know, into my brother. So he gets down there and she's sweet as pie. So I'm like, oh wow, you know, she, he got on the phone, they laughing, I'm like, oh my gosh, she might be a good girl. You know, okay, okay, but maybe I'm wrong. You know, I'm not saying I'm wrong girl, okay? So I'm like, okay, you know, she might be a good girl. Okay. So then she tells me, oh, you know, he's doing it, he's drinking and all this. My thing is this, I get that, but he's been locked up for a little bit. You don't know what he's seen in there. Maybe this is something to help him kind of get past what he went through in there. Long as he's not a drug addict, long as he's not a drunk, long as he's not beating on you and all that stuff, let him, let him wind down, you know? He not popping pills, he not snoring coke, he not doing crack, he not doing, you know, shrum. He, you know, he's, he's not doing things that this generation is doing right now that is, it's just dangerous. So if you want to do a little drinky drink every night, then let him do a little drinky drink. I mean, come on. And then when he drinks, he drinks with her family. So he's not alone with his friends running the street trying to see what a new girl like. He's with her family sitting around drinking. Okay. Homegirl was like, I got an issue with that, this and that. Okay. So we finally got past that. So he called me and told me she was acting some type of way. Hold on, y'all. So I tell him, I said, if you see any signs now, 
my advice to you is to be careful make sure you have a backup plan because you got a job i said put money away so if anything happen you're able to leave and also not only that i said um make sure that you don't get her pregnant okay you're saying things about her and this is good she's not pregnant yet don't get her pregnant he called me about three weeks later auntie i'm having a hard I'm having a bad day. I'm like, oh my God, what's wrong? My girl lost the baby. What you talking about, this? What baby? What are you talking about? Remember when you told me not to get pregnant? She was pregnant then. I said, oh my God, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. Like, oh my God. And he said, now, nah, you know, we got in a fight. And I'm hanging out with her uncle because she acting fun with me and all this stuff. So I said, well, maybe she going through it because of the baby, you know. This is what I'm thinking, right? So I was like, he was like. camera going on I said just give her time maybe that's why she kind of acting you know out or whatever so like maybe two weeks go by he's still having issues with her okay he started finding out that maybe she I think he said something like she was talking to another guy or something and she kept blaming him and you know when they kind of blame you the most technically they kind of doing something and they trying to put it on you so you know how like women be dating guys and they really be in love with somebody else and then they get with another guy to make the other guy jealous and then the other guy finally get jealous because whoever he was with mess around with and who they think so then he wants you back so now you want him back so now y'all going back and forth and so now everything wrong with the new guy because you really want the old guy yeah you see how much that was that was just too damn much but that's what it was so i'm telling him i'm like hey he was like i'm trying to make it work and all this so i'm like don't get a pregnant again i said god Gosh, I said, look, she she acting out. This is not about losing no baby. She doing the most now. Do not get her pregnant again. I said, I know you're trying to make it work. Do not get her pregnant again. Don't get her pregnant again. Okay? Don't do it. Okay? I say, get yourself together. He said, well, I can't because when I work, I have to spend my whole check. Excuse me? What? What you said? What? I can't. I can't hear you. I can't. I can't hear you. What? I spent my whole check on bills. Hmm, okay. So I've been seeing pictures of y'all on Insta, I mean on uh, Facebook and she got her hair done, her nails done, her feet done, she got a new outfit, she got gold, she she's starting a new business. Hmm, I'm gonna look confused on why you ain't got a pot of piss in and wanna throw it out. Why you can barely buy you some cigarettes or underwear. Why you take care of the bills in the house and she still get her hair, nails, toes, outfits, all this stuff done. How is it that, I understand you a man. I get that. But if you will pay the big bill, which is the rent, then she should be able to carry the other load. Because you're not where you want to be financially. You just got home. She knew this when she brought you to Alabama. Okay? So I'm confused on why she's steady elevating and you're stagnant. I'm, I'm confused. I said, when I see her, she's not supposed to look like trash, but she's not supposed to be up and looking elite, and you right here can't even get a haircut. Th that's not how relations go. So, something not right. He was like, I know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to, you know, make things work or whatever. And I'm like, I know you're trying to make things work, but I'm confused on why this girl is looking like a supermodel, and you right here can't even get cigarette money. Like, you need cigarette money. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no money. She let you pay all the bills with your money, but she do what she want to do with her money. That's not how that works. That's not how relations are. So he was like, I know, Auntie, I know. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to do what's right as a man. I I know that. But that's not how relations go. So I just kept saying that because I'm like, you're going to get what the hell I'm saying. That's not how relations go, okay? You know, she knew what you were when she got She knew 
what you had to do as a man when she got with you. And you here take care of her kids like your own. And you mean to tell me she don't even let you have audacity to do something for yourself? Come on, man. And she up here starting a business. How she starting a business with what money? Who? Wh where's the money coming from? And how you can't even capitalize from the business. She's starting all these businesses on the side. She's in nursing school, getting her life together. And you out here working, you know, not against what you're doing. But you out here working and you get your check every week. And you got to spend your whole check on her. And she, no, that, and what are the other baby daddies doing? Like, are they paying child support? So, so back up. So that means they're giving child support. And she's taking that money. And she got you thinking she cheap and broke and only getting a certain amount of money with her job. But she probably getting child support from all three baby daddies. And that's how she stayed able to get up. And she probably telling you that her mama them got her hair done because they love her so much. You don't want her to look like trash, which is a lie. So... He was like, you know, she. he started telling me all this crazy stuff she was doing to him. I'm like, why are you still there? If you want to stay there because you love your job, by all means. But don't be in no situation like that because let's think about it. You just got home. You got a record as an adult. Which means that she can call and lie on you and you go back to jail because you got a record and she ain't never been in trouble. So she gonna play the victim. And you round them kids. So my advice to you is to figure this out. Start stacking your money or save a check and keep it pushing. So then he calls me one day. He blowing up my phone. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? I found an answer. I'm gonna some good. I found an answer. Guess what it was? It was him. Guess what he was telling me? I hit a background like he by the highway. I'm like, what, you in the car? He was like, no, auntie, she put me out. Put you out of where? She put me out of the house. So where are you? I'm out by the highway. And I don't have no money because I paid all the bills yesterday with, um, I paid all the bills yesterday with my check. So she let you pay these bills. Spend your whole check in that household. And she put you out and you ain't even got money for a hotel. So guess who had to send the money to get a hotel? I don't have a problem with that. Not a problem at all. And oh yeah, auntie. I said, well, you know what? If you love your job, stay on your job and just, just don't worry about it. Just stay on your job, right? Keep it pushing. Just stay on your job. But I forgot to tell you, auntie. She pregnant. What? She pregnant. What? So what she trying to say? This to her mom? No, 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 no. Hormones don't make you put your man out by the street on the corner and by the, by the highway in a whole nother state where he ain't got family and you got your family, your support, and he got you out by the highway and you don't, you don't have no money. She don't let you spend all your money and then put you out the next day as soon as you don't pay every bill in the house. And you trying to, no, that's not hormones. So now I'm mad, okay? Well, I'm mad. Cause in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, she pretty. Oh yeah, she pretty. So ain't, ain't, ain't nothing you tell her. She, she not my friend. I don't want to be her friend. I don't care about. I don't care to talk to her ever again. That that's it for me. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be with her? That's you. And I'm not. I'm, I'm not telling you who to be with. I'm not gonna cut you off because you're my blood. But one thing I'm telling you right now, and she doing some dirty stuff. That that's that's dirty. And you down in a whole unfamiliar territory with her. So then, she been pregnant. So her, since she been pregnant, um, since she been pregnant, she um was getting ready to have a baby. You hear me, y'all? Y'all hear me, y'all? Keep it up. She getting ready to have a baby. Now, my granted, she got three young kids, and he been there raising kids like his own. Okay, he done FaceTime with the little boy and everything. Love the kids like his own. She about to have a baby. So I said, the best thing for you to do is, you need to make sure that you listen to me and listen to me well. 
she may be doing it like this right now, but she got three young kids. And if her family, she had got into it with a family. I said, so if her family not there for you, she won't play nice again because she needs you to help them babies. I said, you're going to help the babies because now she having your baby. He, was, he had a you know, little girl. I said, so she's going to come to her senses. Don't worry because she needs your help. Show up. I was just I'm going through a lot, you know, just come home, you know what I'm saying? So he there for the birth, he there watching the kids, she, you know, she there, he let her heal, he, he FaceTiming me with the baby, the baby looks just like him, he excited, he thinking they finna be a family, I'm like, okay, well, you know, okay, Tiffany, don't be too rough, you know, don't be too harsh, you know, okay, give her a chance, maybe it was, but you know better, but, you know, let's pray that maybe this will, uh, help her and see that he was there for the birth and that he really wanted to be a good man to her and she'll finally come to her senses. <laughs> no, 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 she didn't. She let him stay there. She played house, took the baby down for him to see the grandparents, played house the whole time. She played house until she got well, till she was able to get up, go to work, go back to school, get her money going, get everything situated. Soon as she got everything situated, got another business started, and got everything right, she put him out of here. Now he really left this time. Now he got a baby with a stupid girl. Now he's in Alabama. Thank God he got a job that he loved, and they respect him and love him and when he do his job. And he actually got a decent income tax to get him a car so she don't leave him out there like a darn dog. And she got, he got him a car, and now he's living in a hotel waiting for an apartment. So I told him, I said, tell what's going to happen. Tell what's going to happen. I said, tell you what's going to happen. Hold on. Alexa, set an alarm for two hours. Thank you. So I said, oh, she fine now. I said, now two things gonna happen. She either gonna go back to the dude she really wanna be with. I said, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm trying to tell you what the business is. I'm a woman, I know. Or she gonna get back on her feet and she, you gonna get with somebody else and she gonna make your life a living hell and she gonna try to mess up your whole relationship. Tell you right now. Tell you right now. Tell you right now. I'm through talking.